Hi and welcome to Oxygen, where we give you life support in the Word. Um, thank you for joining us. If you love this broadcast, you're welcome to subscribe to this YouTube channel and share this link with your friends so that they can also subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell so that every time we have a broadcast, you don't miss on what we are going to be sharing with you. So this morning, I want to talk about something very interesting called prayer. Yep prayer but i'd like to start by telling you a funny story yeah so uh, while i was at the university which is about 1999 um i've been born again for a while and so i used to go for overnights so one of those days i went for an overnight and it was at saint francis chapel in Makerere. so i remember that overnight we were praying with worship harvest people this was a long time ago before worship harvest was even a church so we go for the prayer meeting and we are in the chapel and we are praying late into the night 3 a.m we are praying and then we have one of those moments where the person leading asks us to wait on the lord like to be quiet and just wait on the lord like and so we are standing on the uh the, what, what i would call the stage yeah and um, so anyway, um, the person leading the prayer meeting tells us to wait on God. So he tells everybody, please be silent, be quiet. Let's just be still and just wait on the Lord. So we close our eyes and everybody just gets into a comfortable posture. Some people lie down. Some people kneel and lift up their hands. Some people just sit down in one corner and put their heads down. And I happen to be one of those people who, you know, decided just to lie down on the floor and just wait on the Lord. I mean, so many people were together. Maybe we were about 15, 20 people together in a circle waiting on God. So um, we are there, quiet, just listening to the Holy Spirit and waiting on God and having a great time. And then something interesting happened. While we were there, now remember I was lying down, yeah? So I... Don't know what happened, but I opened my eyes and looked around and everybody who was waiting on the Lord was standing up in a circle. And I was the only person who was still on the floor. I had fallen asleep. Yeah, right there on the chapel floor. Everybody else was in a circle holding hands. So here's the thing. I cannot die in my movie. Yeah. So I get up like I'd been in some deep spiritual place with the Holy Spirit, you know, praying in tongues, you know, looking around and feeling like I'd been in some deep moment with Jesus. And then I get up and I look at all these guys and I'm looking at them like, I mean, like you guys, you're done, like for real, you know, and then I hold their hands and then we get back into the circle and I'm feeling like, oh my goodness, you know, that's one of the funny stories I always like to tell about uh, a time I went for an overnight. But what do I want to tell you about prayer? How often do you pray? How often do you pray? Are you one person that is serious about prayer or you, you know, pray only when you need something from God, only when you have an exam, only when you have a business deal? How often do you pray? Have you formed a habit of prayer? You know, the Bible says in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, it says, Also Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to turn coward. Yeah, they ought always to pray. When it says a parable to the effect that, it means he told them a parable implying that they ought always to pray and to not turn coward. Now, I like that part where he says to not turn coward because in brackets he says not faint, not lose heart, not give up. Meaning when you don't pray, you actually become a coward, which means you faint, you lose heart, 
you give up. That's what it means when you don't pray. Yeah? So my encouragement to you is build a lifetime of prayer. Build a lifetime of prayer. Learn to spend time in the presence of God. Learn to spend time with God. Right there in prayer is your strength. Another scripture from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29 to 31 says, He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. And then he says, even the youth shall faint and be weary. Yeah, meaning every one of us gets tired. Every one of us gets tired. And it says, and the young men shall utterly fall. But, verse 31, those who wait on the Lord, meaning those who spend time inquiring of God, praying in his presence, listening to him, it says, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So once again, I ask you, how often do you pray? Have you built any habits around prayer? Think about it. Do something about it. Because in prayer is your strength. Thank you so much for joining me on Oxygen, where we give out inspiration, life support in the word and if you've listened in and you're not born again jesus loves you and he wants to get into your heart he wants to invite you into a relationship with him so right now you can just say this prayer with me and you get born again just say lord jesus thank you for loving me take my life and do something meaningful with it if you just said that prayer with me you are born again it's that simple because the bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that jesus christ is lord you are born again so you are born again so we'd like to hear from you please send us a message a whatsapp message on this number 0775 642 449 and let us know that you got born again would love to welcome you into the family of god thank you so much for joining us and bye we don't